A team of Egyptian and German archaeologists has unearthed a hidden burial chamber belonging to Edi, the daughter of Jephi Harpi, a prominent official from the 12th dynasty, at the ancient necropolis of Aishud, Egypt. Jephi Harpi, also known as Hepsifer, Hapidjifa, or Jephi Hap, served as the nomarch, provincial governor, of Aishud during the reign of Pharaoh Senesretai, also known as Sesostrisai, who ruled from approximately 1961 to 1915 BCE. Jephi Harpi played a crucial role in overseeing this strategically important region, known for its trade routes and proximity to Nubia, a valuable source of gold and minerals. His tomb, known as Tomb 1, is the largest preserved non-royal rock-cut tomb of the Middle Kingdom, measuring roughly 400 feet in length and over 30 feet high. This tomb exemplifies the architectural sophistication of the era, typically reserved for elite figures. The discovery of Eddie's burial chamber occurred during routine cleaning work inside Jephi Harpy's tomb by a joint team from Sohag University and the Free University of Berlin. According to Dr. Mohammed Ismail Khaled, Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, the burial chamber was found 50 feet, 15 meters, deep in the northern shaft of her father's tomb. Inside the chamber, archaeologists uncovered two ornately decorated wooden coffins, one placed inside the other. The outer coffin measured 8.6 feet, 2.6 meters, in length, while the inner coffin was 7.5 feet, 2.3 meters, long. Both coffins were intricately inscribed with funerary texts that depicted the ancient Egyptian journey to the afterlife. Despite the chamber being looted in antiquity, the team managed to recover significant artifacts, including the lid of one of the coffins, canopic jars intended to hold the deceased's internal organs, wooden statues, and some of Eddie's skeletal remains. Preliminary studies suggest that Eddie died before reaching the age of 40 and suffered from a congenital foot defect, said Dr. Mohammed Ismail Khaled. The tomb had been ransacked by grave robbers long ago, with many of the burial goods stolen and Eddie's body desecrated. Her remains were removed from the coffins, and the canopic jars were smashed. However, archaeologists were able to recover some fragments of her body, including her skull. This allows experts to continue their investigation into her health and lifestyle, as well as the circumstances of her death. The coffins themselves are among the most artistically detailed and well-preserved examples from the region. Photos of the colorful and well-preserved sarcophagi have been released, showing the vibrant craftsmanship typical of elite burials from this period. Pharaoh Senesretai, under whom Jephi Harpi served, was a key figure in consolidating Egypt's political and economic power during the Middle Kingdom. His reign saw a period of stability and expansion, strengthening Egypt's control over its territories and trade routes. Jephi Harpi's role as governor of Aishut was vital in this period of growth, and his grand tomb reflects his high status within the provincial administration. As the archaeological team continues to clean and analyze Eddie's remains, there is hope that further discoveries will be made regarding her life, health, and burial.